King's Dominion being a park that just removed Volcano the Blast Coaster a couple years ago, people have been speculating on what could they be adding to replace Volcano the Blast Coaster. Anything you could think of, some people would speculate it, but now King's Dominion has released a new ride that they will be adding, Tomb Beely and SNS 4D Free Spin. Now, I know what you may be thinking, what is King's Dominion doing? This is not going to be, they're a main replacement for Volcano the Blast Coaster, another thing they did remove with the space they had in that area, they did remove the crypt, so this is going to be taking the crypt's old spot. SNS 40 free spins really do not take that much of space, so it definitely makes sense that it would take up the space that used to be with the crypt. So, obviously, this is not the major addition that they'll be adding to replace the Volcano of the Blast Coaster. It's really just a new attraction that will keep the people even more excited for the Volcano Replacement. This ride I even think is going to be a super good ride. Definitely a great fit for King's Dominion as that is what will be going through in today's video. But most importantly, before we start, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos on coasters often as it really helps the channel out tremendously. Also, if you want to see more, make sure to look at the link in the description where you can see all of the Coast of the World's social media accounts, including Instagram, for updates and much more. But now that is out of the way, let's jump in to the video. First off, I would like to go through some of the stats. Obviously, Tumbili is not going to be as big of an SNS40 free spin as the one you would see at Six Flags Parks. It is more of a modified clone. It's about the exact same as the new for 2021 coaster that came to Adventureland in Iowa, Dragon Slayer, so it's definitely going to be a good ride. I'm not sure if it is better than the Six Flags clones, but we'll just have to wait and see. But for the stats, it is 112 feet tall, it is 34 miles per hour, the track length is only 770 feet long, and it has those inversions of flipping over the track, which we'll have to wait and see how much it flips. Obviously, the stats are not the most extreme. I mean, it's an SMS 40 free spin, it's not going to be the biggest or largest, it's not a huge investment. Cedar Fair did not want to put too much money into King's Dominion before they are adding their main replacement for Volcano, so obviously this makes a ton of sense. I really do like this idea of adding a decent coaster that will draw in people, especially from Busch Gardens Williamsburg. This is one of the coaster models that Busch Gardens Williamsburg does not have, so it's definitely more of a unique thing that people won't go and say, oh well there's the same thing at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, let's just go ride that. It's more of a unique creation that will draw in a little more people. I really do see this as a very good addition for King's Dominion. As I said earlier, it's just a smaller investment. It's definitely going to hopefully bring in a decent amount of guests. Really what King's Dominion is doing is super cool. With this new coaster, they're going to be retheming that whole land around where Volcano used to be. This ride will be and Avalanche. They will be naming it Jungle Expedition. This, in my opinion, really is a great decision from the park. Knowing Cedar Fair, I think they will make this area look nice. Obviously, Cedar Fair is not the biggest in theming, but I think they do do some good jobs on some of their theming, like Orion's uh, theming around that. That is very well done, just not too over the top. As I said, this is just very needed. The old area was really out of place. Hopefully, this does bring a little closure to that. I definitely think with what they are doing, it will blend in pretty well. As for the name, Tombili, I actually am pretty surprised that I actually really do like it. Normally, Cedar Fair does pretty good with their names, and this is definitely no exception. Tumbili means monkey in Swahili, so I definitely think that is a pretty cool name. Definitely, it's obviously themed to monkeys, so I think it's going to be pretty cool. This goes along with the whole new jungle expedition land being themed around an archaeological dig site and research facility, which this is definitely the anchor of the land that suspends riders on either side of the track as the cars flip continuously throughout the ride. In the next couple years, this coaster will probably not be the anchor of the land. I mean, obviously, they're going to come in with a volcano replacement, which is definitely is probably going to be a more grander attraction. 
One of the main things with this coaster, especially with the smaller models, is I hope the ride continuously flips more than some of the other rides you can get on these standard 40 free spins. What they do show in the POV animation is you flipping about 4 times, which obviously that is the best case scenario. Hopefully, it will execute that during when it's built. Even though this coaster may be the only new one uh, to the Cedar Fair chain in 2022, I definitely think it is a good addition, it will definitely bring in more guests to the park, another reason to come back. With King's Dominion's lineup already being Twisted Timbers, I-305, Dominator, this thing could really add even more to it, and I definitely think King's Dominion is really shaping up to be an even better park. So, overall, as you can see, I really do like this edition of the new SNS40 free spin. I really do think that it's going to add so much to the park, especially with that whole new rethemed area. It'll just make the park even more complete. Definitely a very, very good addition. I really do love what Cedar Fair is doing with all their parks, adding these very nice additions, especially with the theming. Cedar Fair really is just making the parks even nicer if they weren't already. Cedar Fair really does make the experience with all of their parks so wonderful, especially with this new addition. So that's going to end out my pretty much analysis on Toombili coming to King's Dominion in 2022. But what do you think of this video? Make sure to post that in the comments below. I read every comment. Love what you guys have to say. And of course, if you are not already, make sure to like, comment, and of course, subscribe for more videos on coasters often. And see ya!